Before I start the video, I would like to mention that these are my builds that I found through trial and error and that I like most using while performing on Legend and Cataclysm. I'm also the type of person who hates using the same things on different classes. <laughs> Carillion is one of the most squishiest characters in the game and if you've played Vermintide 2 for a while, you would know that she's the reason you often see elf players die incredibly often. If by rare chance you got to play with a pro elf player, they would usually dominate the match without ever going down. To master the elf, you must be really good at not getting hit, dodging, blocking, and push attacking effectively. Lucky for the elf, most of her weapons offer a 63 effective dodge count, with a good dodge range to kite enemies and bosses, as well as a couple of weapons that, that flat out give her 100 effective dodges. Hell, her tankiest class handmaiden is meant for dodging. So with this in mind, let's jump right into Waystalker. With Waystalker, this is by far the squishiest career in the game. Other ranger classes like Bounty Hunter and Ranger Veteran at least they have talents you can spec into to gain damage reduction. To compensate for this, we got to dodge a lot and have a weapon that can deal with hordes and elites. For this, I like to use the one-handed sword with attack speed and block reduction and swift slaying because swift slaying is the only thing you ever need and everything else sucks. The Hagbane is a great option for all around killing power of hordes, elites, and specials. Provided you're not spraying down your own team causing them to vote kick you in three minutes. The Hagbane, I usually use Skaven power and infantry power. These are the trinkets. I'm not going into the trinkets. The talents I use are Dryad's Thirst, Bloodshot for double damage, Enchanted Power since the Hagbane is your crutch. Depending if there's a Zeal on your team, I would usually run Isha's Embrace, but if not, Rejuvenate and Locus. I probably butchered that, but there you go. Azri Focus, because everything else sucks in this talent tree slot, whatever. And the bread and butter of this build, Kruna's Reward. Handmaid is by far my favorite class in the game. Imagine being a legit rat ogre, and you have to go up against someone that is able to go invisible, has a 90% block reduction rate, so your attacks do legit nothing to them, has double stamina regeneration rate, and you have to slowly come to grips that they're legit unkillable, unless you have a disabler to get a lucky pounce on them. She can dodge, she can block, she can push. What more do you want out of a melee career? Her focus is basically be the field coach of the team and picking up everyone up who falls and helping them fight before they inevitably die anyway. For this, I like to use the spear and shield for obvious reasons. Attack speed and block reduction and moonfire bow, I would usually use Skaven and monster since for whatever god knows reason, hook rats have the monster multiplier so we can deal more damage to them since they're pretty tough to kill normally. Oh yeah, here's the trinkets. I use revival speed so I can speed revive. And for the moon fireball, I don't know why people hate it. I think it's a great way to deal with specials and elites and not having to worry about finding ammo. If you're one of those sweaty kids that thinks the moon fireball is absolute dog shit because they removed the AOE damage, please just jump off a cliff. Talents, I use spirit echo. God, what the fuck is this word? Ishra Eclarity. Ishra Eclarity. Yeah, I'll go with that. Smiter. Will of Stance and Birch Stance is the crutch of this build and the gift of Larina. Not for the visibility, but to get rid of enemy aggro off myself. Like all classes that get a career that can one hit kill an elite or a boss or whatever. Minus the dwarf, he seems to be lacking various areas. Next, we have the Shade, whose priority is to be a squishy elite and boss destroyer. To complement the Shade, since most people use dual daggers, I find it's pretty difficult to kill hordes with daggers and you have to rely on your team to do it for you. So dagger and sword is the next best thing as far as versatility goes. I use attack speed and grip to be able to get HP. There's a hidden mechanic that allows you to use Shimmer Strike and kill an elite with a ranged weapon and keep your invisibility. So for this, I prefer to use the Javelin. Since Javelin is a large projector, you have to aim a lot more up at range to be able to hit your shots. But with some practice, it will become second nature. I also use armor and Skaven, and I mostly kill specials on leech since the boss damage is pretty pathetic. But I'm a shade, so it doesn't really matter that much. For our talents, I use Bleak Vigor since kill on Temporary HP is fucking dog shit. Cruelty, Assassin, Focus Slaying, Blood Drinker so I can survive three shots from a slave rat on Cataclysm, and Shimmer Strike for obvious reasons. 
And last but not least, we have Sister of the Thorn. She is by far the most support-oriented class in the game, being able to use her wall to block and push back approaching hordes, patrols, and even specials trying to get to your team. As well as with her ability to give extra healing benefits to the team, she really pairs well with careers that are able to heal from their abilities, such as you know, Mercenary, Zealot, Warrior Priest, Unchained, etc. She's also able to apply debuffs to enemies that increase their damage taken. So she's really useful for boss fights or patrol fights or any other type of fight as their team is able to kill those enemies faster. With Vermintide, it's important because time is very important and everything's happened all at once. By far the most complex class in the game would be Sister of the Thorn. Being able to raise specials and even chaos warriors up in the sky for ranger veterans to snipe them, having to wall off threats, etc, etc. You get the gist. So for this, we need a best build imaginable to get the job done and pair with as many careers as possible. For her weapon, I prefer the two-handed sword. Being able to one-shot Storm Vermin to the head, not on Cataclysm, this is more of a legend thing, and clear hordes easily. With her ability, she's also to use light attacks and still kill elites with armor. For her sword, I usually use attack speed and block reduction and swift slang as usual. For her range, her thorn staff is probably the elf's best weapon, minus the javelin, fuck the javelin. Providing infinite ammo and being able to lift enemies in the air like the sablers on your teammates or rattling guns unloading into your team. This is her trinkets. Yeah, I'm not going to the trinkets. Just pause the video if you haven't done that already. I don't know. Her talents are weave bond. God, what the fuck? How do I? That. Smiter, Radiant Inheritance, Inheritance, Radiant Inheritance, Recursive Venom for extra damage, baby, and Tangle Grasp Thicket. And that concludes the video. I hope you found this useful, and I encourage you to experiment around with your own builds because this is what I found best works for me. I'm sorry for the shitty ass mic too. <laughs> Please subscribe. <laughs> I need a better mic. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's the video. And bye. What the fuck is- What is that?